Well, do you have trouble sleeping? That can mean a lot of things. Trouble falling asleep, staying asleep, or waking up and not being able to go back to sleep. It might just seem like it's an annoyance, but now we know it can actually increase your risk of heart disease and stroke. Sleep. It's imperative, but for those who have trouble sleeping, it could be a matter of life and death. New studies show insomnia is tied to a higher risk of heart disease and stroke. Dr. Lara Wittin is a sleep specialist at USF Health. Insomnia basically are people who want to be able to sleep, but can't. But there is a whole epidemic in the United States of people who can sleep, but don't get enough sleep. Dr. Wittin is concerned about both of those groups. She says most people sleep between six and eight hours a night, with the average falling around seven to seven and a half hours. That's good. So that's what most of the population needs to be able to feel rested and be able to function the next day. Sleeping fewer than five hours a night is not good. The studies show a lack of sleep can lead to generalized inflammation and increased blood pressure, both risk factors for cardiovascular disease and stroke. And one of Dr. Wattin's biggest pet peeves is when people joke about sleep, saying, I don't need to sleep. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Sleep is a productive time. It's just productive in a very different way. It allows our body to basically heal, restore itself, set up metabolic pathways, um, restore those metabolic pathways so that way we restore our energy um, stores so that we're ready to function the next day. So whether you suffer from insomnia or are losing sleep because you're burning the candle at both ends, the doctor's advice is to get to the root of why you're not sleeping and fix it. You know, so important. There's also what the doctor calls good sleep hygiene. That means setting yourself up for a good night's sleep. You can do things by going to bed at the same time every night, avoiding bright screens at night, reducing anxiety, and even reading, which can cut stress levels in half in just six minutes. So it's a, I'm not a great sleeper, so I was no. fascinated to talk to that doctor. But if you wonder, they still have a lot to figure out the correlation between a lack of sleep and heart disease and stroke. But these new studies show they're definitely is a correlation and she said part of it with blood pressure which is a huge risk factor for heart problems mm -hmm. um, when you sleep your blood pres pressure naturally goes down so just by virtue of not sleeping as much your blood pressure stays higher longer and I like how she says it's productive because I can't tell you how many times people say I'll get all the sleep I need when I'm dead really <laughs> oh they say it all the time yeah and I know you when you are uh, up at night six times yeah. with Bella oh yeah <laughs> I just consider that as refreshed. that infant life, you you're know, right, a toddler, right. and you grow out of that. So I hopefully it it's too. not forever. Yeah. All right, good stuff. This is also a good reminder for the 2019 Heart Walk, which is coming up November 9th at Raymond James Stadium. This year, Pepin Distributing and Kane's Furniture are each matching the first $50,000 we raise. We hope you'll take a moment to join our team and no donate. It's easy to do that. Just go to WFLA.com slash heartwalk.